I want to just say one thing really quick. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving holiday and everything like that. We're back on the grind. It's hump day. Everybody's back to work. Fun time's over. So, but I hope everybody enjoyed uh, their holiday season. So, WTF Wednesday. This is not a thing. This is, I've done a lot of solos. Um, I've been playing with my boy Jerm on squads, dominating. Uh, I put together like a few new players. i kind of show you them real quick. Most of y'all know that uh, I kind of try to do like an all nat team. I don't know where I just went. No, into my binder. <laughs> um, I try to do like an all nat team, um, which I'm going to continue to do and sell like a lot of my other players uh, really quickly. The couple too new pulled him out of like one of the team of the weeks you know not a great card but we still need to perk up our tight end like a little bit and that'll get us going towards that 92 uh but you can see most of my teams like nat uh so what we did we boosted up to jordan hicks uh last night to tier four it's it's pretty pretty nasty card i'll show you his stats the main thing you're going to be wanting to look at his speed's not crazy good his awareness is really good. His play rec is really good. And his zone coverage, 91 zone coverage at the middle linebacker position, is pretty broken. You can see the 90 Mike Singletary, like right there, has 76. So, and you can just go through Shazier, 78. The 90 Hightower, 84. 78. 75. 82. 78. 83 so you can see obviously we're getting lower and lower but regardless even 90s don't have even 80s you know that's the highest one i guess you would you would say is like 84 91 zone middle linebacker he's putting in work for the squad game he's gotten a pick i think almost just about every game like so far so he's definitely came through uh last night and and tonight with playing some squad games um the other, like, beast that did Was that the... Did I already do that one? Maybe I already had, had done that one in the last video. This... Uh, I'm not sure. Or no, no, no. And that was the other one. Actually, there's three new additions. Uh, the tiered up Casey Hayward to tier four. He's a 93. Play rec is really nice. You can do good press coverage. Again, man and zone. He's not wicked fast, but he's faster than, all, you know, he, he can keep up surprisingly because he's got really good, like, uh, play rec. So he can get up on you. He will pick the ball off. So, again, the 89 catching, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. So compare the 93 Hayward to the new Night Train Lane. All you're basically missing is speed. Bottom line. His man, Casey Hayward's man coverage is better. His press is better. His play rack is better. His catching is way better. The only thing is basically Night Train Lane has speed. That, I mean, that's the bottom line of it. Like, agility, not really that big of a deal. So, yeah, you're, I mean, he, he does lose four points in speed, you know, and, and six points in acceleration. So Night Train is really fast, but, you know, I don't think he's like that beast. Uh, Jalen Ramsey, Jalen Ramsey, 91, uh, head of the table card. Again, just in speed, you know. And and I get it, speed's a beast. But when you lose six other categories compared to one, you know. Richard Sherman, obviously, just this rips that card apart, and it's a 91. So it's a really, really, really nice card. I didn't realize I had two Jimmy Smiths. I need to start selling some cards, man, for real. Um, so that's the new edition, Casey Hayward. Um, and then today, we decided instead of, because we pulled the Gerald McCoy in the last video. Uh, last video was just unbelievable. I don't suspect. I'm doing this video because, A, I feel pack luck tonight. I don't know why, but I felt a, I felt a nice little pack luck. So last night we pulled the, or yesterday we pulled the, or last video, we pulled the Gerald McCoy. Um, and so we tiered him up. 
instead of putting him into the Landon Collins uh, 93 corner, uh, I decided to actually just take him and tear him up like right now. Uh, since I'm going to be on that squad, I might as well just pick the players that I want to play with and roll with uh, throughout the season. I'm going to be selling like my Ed Reed. I'm going to be selling my Night Train Lane. I'm going to be selling pretty much like anybody that I don't want to run with uh, or that can't be tiered up. So I'm only going to be picking players that like I can tier up. So the next uh, position I'm actually going to be looking at is left end. Uh, I did have Jadeveon Clowney there, um, but I posted it for a ridiculous price the other night and it sold like you can see like i went up in coins back up to four thousand i did buy some packs today earlier uh opened up some team of the week packs i wanted to try to see if i can pull gerald mccoy again didn't happen but i did pull the 89 uh nagoku so that's pretty solid pull i mean it's like 75k but regardless it's like the second one behind the Gerald McCoy and the Landon Collins set. So we will be like selling him too, but uh, we're going to be looking at left end. Uh, I posted um, the hero uh, to Devion Clowney for, I don't know, it was like 375 or something like that. Or three, I think it was maybe 350 and it sold surprisingly. So I don't, you know, hey, you want to like buy it? You, you do that. Um, so yeah, so now we're back to the Reggie White again who's in that but those are the new players the casey hayward oh i didn't show you the stats gerald mccoy so i was comparing him earlier with my boy germ to the new aaron donald that just came out so it's a tiered up mccoy 91 to a 92 versus the aaron donald like you can see the aaron donald is it's such a broken card i don't know why people are selling it for like 300k or something like that especially when it can be put in, it's or it's about to be able to be put into a tier up set to make it a 94, which is going to make it just almost just, it's going to be one of the most deadliest like cards like in the game. You can see, so uh, we, we went through the whole like, you know, every, every key category and everything like that. Um, the tackling's, you know, basically the same. The block shedding's, you know, better with him. The power move is better with, with Donald. Uh, but in finesse move, he's got two points play play rec. He's got three points pursuits about the same. So everything's about the same. But there you again look at the main things. I mean strength is basically even the same too. Um, the speed, 69 speed to 81 speed. That Aaron Donald is so fast on the line, it's not even funny. He he blocks shit. So block shedding a 90, and then you combine that with 81 speed yeah, you're getting to the quarterback really, really fast, or running back, or whoever. I was joking around about putting him at linebacker. <laughs> he's that, he looks, his stats are that good. Um, so we did go through the uh, stats as far as the Gerald McCoy, the tiered up Gerald McCoy, and was wondering, because there's got to be, since it's only a one point difference overall, like what was, what gave Gerald McCoy, since he, he lost so much points in a 12 point uh uh, loss and speed because everything basically balances out once you add in the, the points on finesse move and points on play rec it balances out the the strength the power move and block shed it almost balances it out so where's that 12 points it's in hit power aaron donald like i, I think it was 79 or 80 hit power and gerald mccoy has 89 88 or 89 so it's like a plus eight for McCoy and hit power. So he's the man that's going to like knock the snot out of you basically. So that's the difference between the two cards. If anybody was wondering, but those are the new, the new pickups, uh, ran with this defense like earlier. And let me tell you, like we played 93 receivers with Odell's and Irvin's and, you know, like 94 Marino, or not, maybe it wasn't a 94, but it was a high Marino, like, and Jerem and I pretty much, like, stomped. Like, two, game, two games we did play, it was, like, zero points. So, it's pretty ugly, like, right now, and it's only going to get worse. So, like, stay tuned for, for that, because Reed's going to be gone. Night Train's going to be gone. Uh, some other players are going to be gone. 
So we'll see, but we're going to be working with the left out, left, uh, right, right inside linebacker, uh, right outside linebacker, and left end are like the next two. Uh, what I'm looking at, I do want to move the night train and the Ed Reed at some point. I mean, that's about a million in coins, like right there, just in those two cards. But I'm looking at, at making the Amos, the Chicago Bears free safety Amos. His speed is is like a 91, I think. And tiered up ends up being like a 92 or 93 for a free safety, which I think like Ed Reed, like right now, it's basically comparable to Ed Reed. Yeah, so it's like a 92. So it's basically replacing Ed Reed with somebody that I can tear up later when he gets another card, which you know Madden's going to do that. So like all these players are going to get tiered up. So you might as well max them out now to fours. So when they get their tier fives, it's going to be like fire. So... Because I'm, I'm, I'm venturing to guess that like probably everybody by the end of the season is going to get a tier five card. Um, there are different there. Are, there are tier five already, but like it's the players that were like really low. Like the Ertz, I think, is going to be at like a tier five or tier six. Like, but it's just because his card was so low. He was like an 80 overall. And, like, he's obviously beasting this year, so you've got to give him, you know, now he has a 91 card. So there's got to be levels in there to, like, boost that up. But for players that are already beast, like Donald, you know, the 90s overalls, the Gronks, the Bradys, the, you know, the Shermans, the, or not Sherman, I mean, but Sherman's 89. But all the 89s, 90s, like, they're not going to, I mean, how many early tiers can you give them to get them up to because you're only releasing 93 cards now. So, like, how, how, you know, how are you going to give them a card when they're already 90, 90 to start the season with? What can you really give them to boost them? That's why they don't have tiered up starts yet or cards yet. Um, so that's a new squad. So what I'm going to do is just open up a random packs. I'm going to get into the binder, and I'm just going to, you know, this, this could be really, really bad. Or, hey, you never know, we could continue the pack luck that we had on from last video which is finger crossed what i'm hoping uh you can see i bought all the harvest packs so we can't open up any of those um i may like spend a little bit of money i'm definitely not going to do that i don't think that's worth it i like the legends i think that i mean yeah you can pull that Ertz or that uh fletcher cox like out of that but odds are it's probably not going to happen um I may, you know, drop some little bit of money and maybe buy uh, fantasies or the uh, legend fantasies before it's over, um, or I might just wait till Saturday. I'll probably wait till Saturday to actually like put in a little points because I'm I'm kind of itching to get some points out. So um, let's go to players and we're just gonna open up some tear open some packs and see what see what we can get. Act like we're ten again and look for those those great cards so we can trade them and sell them and keep them so so no uh harvest cards we got a feast pack so we can kind of evaluate these as y'all like as everybody knows i kind of do the, the four gold bundles um but they've been really really bad lately i mean i've lost 300k after 300k after 300k like buying like 10 of these and like getting you know literally like 185 card out of literally 40 packs gold packs and like the highest i've gotten in the last two videos i think opening golds has been um the um like an 85 kicker sturgis who like i sold for like 70k so 300k and you get the highest card in it so 70k it's kind of tough pill to swallow so we're just going to open up some packs. I uh, got a lot of nice cards and everything like that. I could easily like put my coins up to like close to probably like 6 million like right now um, with the cards that are in my binder. Although I don't have like a lot of items, like, but all the cards in there, like I have no silvers and the only golds that I have that are in there are uh, golds that are waiting to be put into team packs that are already filled up. So not a lot of golds either. So most all of those are elites, like 80 or above. So roughly like my entire binder is almost elites or team of the week like cards. So we're going to rip open some packs. So 
I don't know. We're gonna want to keep this. Keep... Try a couple of these these feast uh, harvest harvest gold packs. See how they work out. Or guest of honor. Guest of honor would be kind of nice. Uh, and one extra gold player, one 65 or better player, and then one regular silver card. So, so we want some basically all we're we're really wanting like out of these is like an elite uh, harvest. Hopefully. But who knows? Let's keep this pack luck going. Last video was just unbelievable fire. So we start off with a Thomas J. So that's one of the gold or silver cards. So that's not even the the, the harvest card. So that that's a, either a really good omen, or it's a, just gonna say, hey, here's your pack, and <laughs> we're done with you. So we got a, a gold harvest. There's a high silver. There's a low silver, so that elite was our gold card. And the next two are harvest. So let's get some red. Red flag. Gold and gold. So okay, we got an elite. A couple three golds. Uh, I don't I don't exactly know. And I'm actually going to do this like on the video if I can. So I know I can't put silver like high silvers into the team tokens. But I can put lows for now. I am gonna add those cards to the sets. Um, as we go through this video, like if you don't like it, don't watch it or skip later on in the video because there's only one person watching, and it's probably my girl or Jeremy or somebody I personally know. <laughs> so, yeah, none of those even go into gold team tokens. So, I mean, it was not a bad pack, all in all. 83 Thomas Davis Jr., not bad. So, you know what? gonna stay I think I'm gonna stay with them until I don't get an elite how about that I think that's a I think that's a fair fair assessment like let's just stick with this so no elites show up which could very well be this pack which I mean that's fine okay there's two harvests there's our three harvests so that's it so that's the rest of the that's all for the harvest no more for y'all <laughs> harvest is dry just kidding, I'm probably going to do another one. Just just for fun. Got to spend money to make money, baby. My girlfriend's like, you can also change them in at Muttcoin and get some shoes. <laughs> ah. Hey. So people ask me, like, all the time, like, why do I, like, open up, like, kind of all these random packs and I take these cards, you know, that you could exchange for tokens or do whatever with and i just put them into the binders to me like since i'm tearing up like all my people like my team and everything like that it's better for me to open up a lot of uh um gold packs and packs multiple packs and stuff like that because i need the silver cards for the silver team tokens and i need the gold cards honestly for the gold team tokens so that's kind of why i open up like a lot of these packs. I'm gonna get that elite. Come on, baby. Okay. Fail. Now we're done. I gave him an extra shot and that didn't that didn't work at all. Um, but yeah, like it helps me like make these 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 team packs, whoever I decide to tear up or, or whatever. Um it just makes it like that much easier so i don't have to spend a ton of coin i'm already spending the coin on these packs and you know to be honest like i look at it this way like you know these these players and these packs you know you're gonna spend anywhere from even if you spend 3k for or just say even 2k for a high gold you know five of them that's 10 that's 10 grand and then you spend say you know just 1500 like per low gold you know that's three six seven fifty that's like 1750 just to make one team token you know so and i make team tokens i've got so many i think i got like about 10 and i don't even really like try to make them so when i go to tear up these guys i normally already have the team tokens so i don't have to worry about it and yes i put the Kansas City, high Kansas City Chiefs in there. I put the low Patriots in there. I put the low Colts in there. I put the low Titans in there that are all like 5K a piece. I still put them in there because I'm definitely going to be wanting to make Patriots ones. Chiefs, you never know. I might 
if Eric Berry comes out with a better card, I might like do that. But so no money. I don't really see any other cards I can buy for coin that are worth anything. Like I'm out of those. I can't buy any more of those. We went and pressed our luck with that and got one elite like out of that. So I'm thinking we're back to the gold packs. So y'all you know, get ready. I want some pack luck. This is what I'm needing. I'm not going to sit here and go open 40 packs, like 900 packs at a time. Like, I just want to actually, like, open these. I can't put them in yet. I just want to open these, see if we can't get something decent. And if we don't, then I'll stop and keep the money. But I don't want to invest, like, 300K if I'm not feeling the packs, like, anymore. If they just aren't producing that's how I'm kind of going to do it now. I've lost, like, way too much coins uh, opening these these four-pack bundles lately because they've been just been dry. Like, they were really, really good. And I think, like, whenever... Uh... So, okay, so three golds in that one. I like it. Um, I think, like, whenever they decided EA heard about, like, how it was or how many great pulls people were getting, like, out of these packs, like, they kind of just dried them up. Because the, you really don't even get elites. And, like, when you do get elites, like, out of these, like, especially now, because 80, 81s, 82, 83s, they're all, like, under 5K. So, you know, like, high golds or, or certain golds, like, on certain teams are, like, are worth that. You know, so even, like, low elites don't mean anything. So it's like, well, that's cute. I can put it into, you know, an elite set or, like, whatever, but... You know, or not an elite, an elite token, but that's about the extent of it. I don't know why you would even buy. Uh... There we go. We finally made a, an elite token. So we got two low 49ers. Let's hope they both go in. Neither one of them go in. So we got some decent golds, but again, you see all these golds that like pop out of these things. Like, there's like a lots of golds. As I said, I'm going to get like one. Yeah, there. Figures. <laughs> Uh, but you, you can normally get some, like, decent gold. That's a low Titans card, so, like, he's actually worth a little bit of coin. He's, like, four grand. But, again, I just put him in team packs. It's, I don't have time to, like, sit there and worry about selling gold and silver cards. Of course, like, at the beginning of the season, that's all you wanted to do. I mean, I was that first guy that would buy those, uh... Those 500 coin packs <laughs> for the silver cards. And, like, I got some decent pulls beginning of the season from those things. Now it's pretty much all silver. You want to try it? Let's do it. Let's do... So this is just basically a silver card or better. Anybody that doesn't know, everybody should know by now. It's basically a silver card or better. So we spend... So for this pack, you basically get five cards, right? You get one... Gold player, doesn't matter, low or silver. And you get four uh, silver cards, 65, one guaranteed 65 or better, and three regular. So one gold, four silver, right? This is just like a silver card. Get a silver player or better. So there's no, it could be low silver, like whatever. So if you do the math, like, God, I'm really kind of brain farting, but, um, sorry, I'm responding to somebody, if, uh, bad YouTube etiquette, maybe, like, <laughs> responding to somebody, okay, so, if you, uh, if you basically break it down, to be honest, this is still kind of like a really smart thing to do, so I'm gonna do one pack of get a player compared to one pack of a gold player pack. Okay. So 7,500 coins, 500 coins. That's 15, right? Math. Doo -doo. Yeah. 15. That's 15 of these compared to that. So we're already going to get 15 cards compared to five. So if we pull one gold out of those 15, we made a better purchase than this pack. Feel me? So we're going to do 15 of these just to test it. And this is just one gold. It's the same price. So low 
uh, low silver. This might be a long little. Oh, uh, see, that's kind of a pain, but okay. So low silver. It's two. I'm just. I'm not gonna keep opening these. Low silver. Three. Low silver. Four. High silver. So there's your guaranteed high silver out of that 75 pack. So all we need is one gold. Five. And we're a third of the way through with this card. Another high silver. Six. Seven. Lucky number seven. Boop. Nope, just kidding. But I'm going to be honest with you. Like, either way, this is a, a ton of silver tokens. Now, I know that you can, you can go buy... Like these guys for 500 coins most of the time, like on the auction block. But wouldn't you rather like just take a chance at like, I'm going to make silver team tokens anyway. So wouldn't you rather take a chance at like maybe pulling, I've pulled elites out of this. So maybe we'll get lucky and like pull one out of here. But I would rather like have the chance. It's kind of like why I open the team of the week. It's a rush. Like you never know. These is a lot less of a rush because like you don't really expect much because like I mean it's it's a silver or better. So you're just you're happy if you get a gold. But normally like one out of every ten you kind of get a gold, even though we're on twelve right now. So three more, I think. So let me get that gold. It's time for gold. I just talked up gold. Look at that hair. Nice hair. You know you're going to get your Madden picture taken. Like you think you would do your hair like pretty decent. Or try to like style a little bit. 14. Man, see these are <laughs> like kind of killing too. So kind of ugly. And 15. So I think we got like four or five like high silvers and a lot and probably the rest. I would say five high silvers and like ten low silvers. So so technically, if you think about it like this, the ten high five the the, the ten high silvers you can put in and make a low gold. And then you've got ten other low silvers. So low gold, ten silvers. compared to this. Low gold. Oh man. I would do me like that. I like jinx myself. <laughs> uh well, I don't know what he's worth. Probably not a lot, but uh yeah, totally just backfired that one, right? It's like, oh look at this. These all stink. These these 75 stink. <laughs> and, yeah. So, this one obviously, like, worked out. I think we're, we've gotten this 49er, like, four times. Like, that same card, like, four times so far in this video. Um, yeah. So, pretty much just backfired that video. Like, maybe we need to go back and do one more, uh, one more than 500s. Let's see. Just out of curiosity. I mean, it's highly unlikely, but just out of curiosity. Yeah, I was just kidding. Back to that low, low, low silver. But, I mean, it works, I guess. Oops, didn't mean to back out of that. So, packs on packs on packs. I don't really want to spend money, like, right now, so. Like, actual money. I'll spend my Madden coin all day, because I'll make it back. 
Uh, what do we think? Four gold or one gold? Let's go for gold. We just bought a, a one gold and got an 86. So let's test the test the four gold. We didn't get anything out of the, the first uh, four pack. So I am I'm not gonna do the silver packs in front or the silver cards. Jeez, if I keep going to auction. Another low 49er. Man, I'm getting a lot of low 49ers. Um, but I will put my golds in there because I I don't want to have to go through all three thir 32 teams and figure out whether I've added them or not. I'll do those later, but I will put the golds in there, team, team sets. Come on, baby. Let's get an elite. We have not gotten an elite yet, like, out of these four packs. Like I said, they, they, they've really dried up a lot. Like, so high Texans doesn't work. So, I don't know. It's, it's weird. I mean, that's Madden for you, though. Something that works at the beginning never works at the end. Or even in the middle. This is a pretty bad pack. Oh, there's a Harvest player. Too bad. It doesn't really matter if you're a Harvest player or not. Oh, you don't even go into a, my team set either. Uh, elite. There we go. Oh, man. Got happy for a second. Ugh. See, with cards like that, not going to lie to you. Cards like that, I would rather have the gold card. I would rather have I would rather be a 74 Patriot than an 80, to be honest. It's worth more, and it at least goes into a set. That does nothing but going into an elite token set. That's it. That's all it does. So it's like, it's killing me. These 80, 81s, 82s, 83s, killing me. We'll do uh, one more of them. Test out, even though they're probably like, look, we just gave you an elite card. That's great. Like, no. like yeah, at the beginning of Madden, that was fire. But it's like, oh, I got an elite. I got an elite. Because you could make a, an elite token with, like, three elite cards. Like, 180, 283, and 280, 81s. Like, now, yeah, not so much. Now it's, like, 384 to and up oh there's mr interception boy i am gonna run a game with him i don't know most of y'all like no but nathan peterman was re replaced tyrod taylor two weekend two weeks ago and like dude legit like threw five interceptions like in a game like in his first game basically and like i really want to put him in my starting lineup and see if like i can manage to not throw any so no Chiefs. So we got an 86. Uh, some 80, 81s. Lots of gold, lots of silver. Uh, again, these are just, just random packing like two low. Oh, uh, he's actually like a, a saint, but he's in the Lions uniform. So three golds in that one. Not bad. Uh, Colt McCoy. Poor Longhorn. Let's see. Lions and Saints. Oh, man. Yeah, not gonna all back out all the way out of this thing. Just to, like, open that one stupid pack. Because <laughs> I didn't hit square. Uh, come on, since you made me work for it. Okay, at least you fed me some golds. Since you made me, made me like back all the way out, and I'm gonna have to go back and go back all the way into. Okay, and they all went into set so far. Nope, two for three. All right, so let's go back into packs. Just watching my money go away, right out the window. So let's do. What do we want to do? Let's do a let's do a feast. Try feast again. See if we can't get some luck on a feast. I don't. I think these are like complete ripoffs. Like I have not pulled. I think I pulled a low elite like at the beginning of of the feast. Like when these cards first came out. Jermaine Johnson. That's what's up. He goes into a set. I think you can actually. Or is that? Yeah. So there he is. Like into his tier three. Might as well just put him in there now. I might make him later. Who knows. So Jermaine Johnson. 
not bad. But was he an eighty four? I think he actually like sells for for fairly decent because it's part of his tiered up set, and he is a beast ninety three tiered up corner. So, um, the problem with these feast packs is like it's the gold players are limited to specific teams. So like, you know, you can only put them into like the binder, like the team tokens to those like maybe like five or six teams. So once you get so many of them, it's like okay, well. Get an elite harvest. Can we get an elite harvest? Nope, we can't. But again, like, all you can do, so you're going to see, like, Vikings is filled up. Like, f high 49. Well, I think maybe high 49ers, though, yeah. Because I know my low are filled up, and I'm still able to make them. So, we actually want bears, obviously, high bears and high 49ers. I just did that. And low Seahawks, apparently. Oh, there's a 49er token right there. Boop. So that's basically, like, how I end up, like, making random tokens just through, like, packs. And I'm kind of, like, putting my gold players into the team packs, like, as I go, like, through the video. Like, just to... So I don't have to do it later, to be completely honest. And, like, spend time doing it. Come on, baby. Show me that elite harvest. Man, no elite harvest. I'm telling you, the first pack that I opened out of this, these uh, Elite Harvest, he doesn't go. I pulled an 88, like, Elite player, like, Elite Harvest player, you know. And at the beginning of it, whenever, like, these cards are, like, super hot and, you know, everything like that, it's, uh, worth a ton, you know, and then you sell it immediately. But, like, now, like, 88s are crap. But again, I don't re recommend anybody be doing what I'm doing, like, right now. Like, this is, I have the coin. I want to just make a video, like, opening up some random packs. I felt some pack luck, like, today. Uh, I had some incredible, like, pack luck yesterday. Um, but I was kind of feeling it today. Maybe I was wrong. But so far, we've got 84 and an 86, which, I mean, I guess you take what you can take. But I'm taking massive L's, like, right now, like, on these packs. I'm going to do one more feast, and that's probably it for the for the feast. Uh, and it's funny, like, one of, the, one of the elites was out of a single gold pack, just switching stuff up. There we go. There we go. And that's actually the first... Uh, elite when I was talking about like when I opened up uh, the um, my first uh, harvest pack like these that was actually the card that I got and at the time I think I sold it for like 90k like so I know it's not even remotely like close to that now it's probably like 50 but if that we'll, uh, we'll go check but I know it's it's not an 89. It's the second one in a thing. So it's the stuffing. <laughs> the, the stuffing player. God, his speed is just horrible. But yeah. So there we go. Like even like I said, it was the last pack. And I'm sticking to that. It was the last pack uh, for the harvest. So we, we pulled an 88 harvest. Like I'll take it. You know. It's not the... It's not a, a head of the table or an 89, but 88s, you know, they sell for like, I think like 40, 45, something like that. So, but again, super massive L. Like, you're happy about getting an 88. So, imagine this. Like, you've watched, like, how much, everybody's watched how much money I've spent, like, buying these feast packs. And you're happy getting an 88, but then you realize, like, it sells for 45, right? Even pulling in that 88. And then you realize, okay, well, one pack's 26. So, basically, just that card just paid for only two of the feast packs that I paid that I, that I bought. So, yeah. Pretty decent L's. So, I'm going to do gold player. Let's go single. Let's try singles. We pulled an 86 the last time we opened up just one single. Let's see what this one gives us. 
So, low chiefs. Alright, nothing. I don't even think that's going to go into a set either. Yeah. Let's play around and do... Get a player. We're going to get a gold player or better like out of this. <laughs> At some... God, these low silvers. The main thing is just stupid broken now. Like, doesn't even make no sense. Let's do a Legend Fantasy. How about that? Be back in a second. So I'm still here, but I wanted to put in a little bit. Uh, uh, we gotta we got to make up for these coins, so I'm going to spend a little bit of money. I was going to do 50. Uh Screw it. We'll just do fifty. I'll use the, I'll use the, uh, I'll use the other tokens like later. Or actually, I'll probably end up spending them all now. Who knows? All right. So we have enough for okay. It's three, four, five. All right. We're gonna take a take a little gamble. I don't know. What do we do? Do we, we do want to do that, or do we want to do the the fantasy legend fantasy? Mmm. I'm gonna say since these are so expensive right now that even the low, the the golds are so expensive, I'm gonna go ahead and do the harvest bundle. Oh man, but those fantasies though. But I've seen the 88 Dan Marino. So if I pulled an 88 Dan Marino, or that was one of the options. Like, I saw it going for, like, it was up, like, last night I woke up, like, in the middle of the night, and, like, it was still on, so I just, like, decided to look at, like, the Legend players. Literally, like, saw the 88 Dan Marino for, like, 30k. I was like, that's one of these. So keep in mind, like, when you're, when you're buying packs or you think, like, you know, you're doing whatever, like... That's one of these. So I should pull an 80. I could buy an 88 Dan Marino every time for that. So I could literally have bought like six 88 Dan Marinos for that. And, you know, like everything like that. So you got to keep that in mind. This is basically just all luck. You know, you hit, you miss. Like right now, massive L. You know, like I spent roughly around 300K and I probably made 100K. Like so, like super bad L. But I don't know. What do we what are we thinking here? Get the three three legends or the or the harvest with the elite guaranteed elite harvest player, which is only gonna be that uh, hey, shit, it'll probably be like an eighty six. It'll probably be worse than the harvest player we just pulled at eighty eight. The thing is you want that Ertz or that that Cox, like but again they're only guaranteed. Let's do the let's do the team of the week. I love team of the weeks. Team of the Week's like one of my favorite favorite ones. Plus, it gives me players for like the other team or other weeks too. So next Tuesday, you know, as soon as I it opens at like two or three, I think two or three three o'clock in the afternoon, the Team of the Week comes out on Tuesday. I'm all over it because people are selling their other Team of the Week cards for super cheap. Don't ever buy the week 12 or whatever week you're in. Like this week is week 12. Don't ever, ever, ever buy those cards. You do 11, 10, 9, 8, and kind of stay in that range the previous month, basically. You go too far back, then you're going to end up like looking for cards that, even if you get the best card in the set, it's only like 60K, 70K. You want the cards that are like fairly close to recent. Like I pulled that McCoy uh, out of this, this, this past Tuesday. Or yesterday, and like that was last week's top dog, like on defense. He was the most expensive card, like 350k. So let's get the elite Thanksgiving player out of the way. <laughs> Imagine that. Same guy. He must be popular with me. He must like me. I don't like the Vikings, but he must like me. All right. So open. We're gonna open. We got 11 of these packs. We're just going to get into it. We want elites or we want the high, like, 79, like, gold players. Oh, I forgot to get a hard on that. Okay, so that's that's the uh, previous week's 
uh, team of the week. So that's the card for the previous week, and it happens to be an elite. So Desmond King, there we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like that card, like is like 15 to like 18k, like right now, something like that, or about 15k. So I'm good. So so far, pretty 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 beast, I would say. Now again, you know, I don't know how to say this, but like you have to do like your team of the weeks and like everything like that only on Tuesday. Don't ever like do it after Tuesday because the market's flooded with team of the week cards on Tuesday. And like, yeah. So we're going to get 11 harvest tokens for this, right? So that's okay. We might make a cornucopia pack. Uh, I did one cornucopia, didn't air it, and like it was just like everybody else's. It was horrible. So that's that's a couple weeks ago. Oh, that Robbie Anderson though. That's a that's about a twenty minimum twenty k card. So we we we're doing all right so far. Again, like like the, these. Cause this is my, like I am literally gonna sell that card. I'm not lying to you. I'm gonna market that card as soon as the video's over. Actually, all of these, uh, not the not the previous week ones though, but the the recent ones because they're super overpriced. If you get the 79s, because there's two 79s on defense, two 79s on offense, you get those like sell them immediately this week now because. They're not going to be 15k, 20k next week. They're going to be later on. So you get those those high team of the week cards. Like I know he's this week, but I think he's like I think he's kind of low or like middle of the road, but he's still like going to sell for like 6k. So. Ooh, but that's the so like was he this week's? Oh, he was last week's. Okay. But there you go again, another Robbie Anderson. Them cards, I'm telling you, like right now, people are paying stupid money for that card. Uh, I don't get it, but like, do your thing, to each his own. So that's that's a. Uh, immediately, I could sell that card for 20k, no questions asked. Like, gone within a minute. Here, watch. I'll even I'll even prove it. Since I already got one, and I might want to get frisky and make <laughs> make one of them sets and go for that Ertz. Oops. Watch. We'll just... I'm without even looking at the block. I'm going to say... 20... I'll even go above 20 to prove a point. That's not just like 19. I'm going to say... We'll just go 20... 21. And Watch. not gonna take long so as long as you can keep pulling those high like team of the week cards for this week see that's low team of the week this week I think that's like the bottom of it or that's the team Man, I'm confused or maybe he was last week I'm com so confused with like this week's and last week's there's like so close yeah that's last week's again so that's the actual this week's uh, the defense, the high defense. So that's two of him that I've gotten, and two Robbie Anderson I've gotten out of these out of four so far. Let's hope he goes okay. So he goes into, and again, like I apologize, but I'm gonna put these gold players and silver players into their packs like right now, because I don't want to go through my binder like later on and do it all. So again, he sells for like pretty decent. Like I don't want to guess like with him, but we can, we'll put him up for auction immediately, like after the video. So we want an elite. Can we get an elite like out of these? Man, that hurts. Or that Fletcher Cox would just be okay. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. All right, I see you, Madden. Like trying to like. Make nice for me. Give me some little decent pack luck. 87. 
That's so that's the middle of the road for the defense for that uh Luke Keekley. That's not Fletcher Cox or the other dude, but hey, I, I ain't kicking Bruce Irvin out of bed for eating crackers. I'll take that all day. And that's last week's or something like that. I don't remember. Actually, I think he was uh, auction. I think he was uh, a couple weeks ago. I think he was like week, maybe week 10 offense. Something like that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how many we bought or how many we've opened, but week 12 harvest team of the week packs full effect. Okay. So that's this week's low, lowest defensive player. Not worth much, but <laughs> it's an elite though. I'm going to take it. Them things still go into packs. Uh, you know, the funny thing is, like, that card is less than that 79 Charger, like, uh, <laughs> card that go into the set. Yeah, you could, like, buy two of him for that 179. I don't know what week this is. Okay, so week 11. We're getting a lot of week 11 cards. So maybe that's a sign... That we need to maybe like make a week 11. Maybe that's what we'll do like a, at this video. We'll make this video as long and boring as possible. <laughs> just We're just spending coins. That's all this is about. Spending coins. Opening packs. I'm feeling that pack luck still. We've gotten some decent cards. So Joe Mixon. That's another high 79. That's the second highest in the offense. So we got the Robbie Anderson. The Joe Mixon. I think that might complete the set to make one of them offenses so we might make one of the offenses that's the only time i advise like doing it so it's my Japreen. i think that's let's see how good i am i want to say week mm, it wasn't week was it week 11 i want to say week 11 again it was week 11 oh man i'm good even though that was last week but I really couldn't remember. I was, for some reason, wanting to say, like, week nine. But that Smadja the the high... Uh, well, why do I keep trying to put high silvers when I know it's full? Um, but he's the high for last week. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do uh, a couple Team of the Weeks if we get enough uh, Team of the Weeks out of this. Because we got some out of the gold packs that we pulled. This dude last night, I was telling my boy Jerm... This dude last night, well, I don't know what it was, but I had like three of them from like opening like all the team of the week packs and stuff like that on yesterday. And I had like three of them and I went to like go sell them, you know, because I knew they were still expensive and I wasn't going to make a team of the week, uh, week 12, because it's just, I'd rather have the coin. Um, literally sold this dude for 30 it was like 34, 34, or 34,000. And as soon as I put him up, it was gone. And I had two of them. And I kept one. And I had two of them. As soon as I put it up, gone. I was like, what? Because there were only like five other ones. And they were all at like like 35 and, and up. So I just put it at like 34. And yeah, gone. So he's part of the offense. He's the middle of the road. I know exactly like which one he is. But, and that's garbage. High silver, high silver. So I guess they only give high silvers like in these packs. So no more adding silver players to like sets. Or to tokens. Because you don't get any low silvers out of these packs apparently. But apparently you can't get no elites either. I was just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so last week's, uh, that's the lowest card, but it's last, last week's Elite. I mean, I guess I just complained about it and got one, so maybe I should just piss and moan more often. And I got a card that goes into a team set, so we're good with that. So I think this is the last, like, Team of the Week card, or Week pack. Maybe? Nope, there's one more. Josh Huff. Mm, give me that red flash, all right, baby. Yeah. Oh, Team of the Week. Okay, so Team of the Week's coming up right here. Let's get some Elites right here. Boom. 
Oh my God. You, <laughs> you've got to be shitting me. Oh man, when I tell you like I'm feeling that pack luck to do a random opening of packs. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> uh just just hit that like button right now. Just hit that like button right now. Like, you don't see that. Just go ahead. Hit that. 600K or five, five to 600, 550. Let's just be generous and say 550. Zach Ertz, top dog, week 12. Oh, <laughs> you got to be kidding me, bro. That's just sickening. Half a million coin sitting right there. Is it even like a good card? Is he even he's not even fast. It's just everybody wants the Julio Jones, so let's 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 quick sell him. You do a <laughs> do a uh, an auction for like five thousand coin, just to like mess with people's heads. They'd probably lose their minds. Wow. <laughs> I'm speechless. I am speechless. Well, I'm actually not speechless. I'm obviously uh, talking, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You've got to be kidding me. That is amazing. That is just amazing to me. I'm telling you what. The pack luck. Like, Jeremy, like, always tells me, like, pack luck. Like, I got, like, crazy, crazy good, like, pack luck. And I always say, like, nah. Like, it's okay. Blah, 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 blah. I'm stunned right now. I don't think I've ever pulled two ninety one team of the week players from out of these packs like <laughs> ever. Like I very rarely get like the top cards. Like normally like when it comes to, like opening flashback packs and like elite packs like back in the day and everything like that, like when I would open up stuff live it was just horrible. Like, no good, you know, blah. <laughs> the past two days? And today, like, wasn't even, like, that great. It was just kind of, I got some 86s, 85s, and, eight, you know, a couple 88s. Like, Harvest players, though, so they're not worth nothing. And this wasn't even looking that great, to be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just kidding. Zach Ertz, 91, just game over. That's it. Game over. I don't even care what's in the next pack. I mean, I do. Because I, I could... It's the last one, too. Because I can... Low Patriots, that's what I like. That's 5,000. But, again, I put them into my sets. Let's go. Give me... Can I get... I'm going to get greedy. I did this last night when I pulled the 90s. And I wanted... I was like, wanted that Gerald McCoy... I was like, can I get that Gerald McCoy? Let me get that Fletcher Cox. Can I get that Fletcher Cox to make that Keekly? Let me get that Fletcher Cox. Let me get that Elite right here. Let me see it. Oh, all right. Too greedy. Joe Mixon, though. Wow. Bengals token. That's what's up. All right. <laughs> I'm going to pretty much like call that good game like we do one more get a play we'll do one more each zach Ertz 91 pull hey there's our gold that we were looking for 
We finally get a player. We pull a high gold. It's a miracle. See? Everything's just happening. All the stars are aligning. We're even going to do one more harvest since we just came off with a nasty Zach Ertz. Okay. I see you, Pax. Definitely want to put these in there. I got a lot of high silvers. Need to put a ton of low silvers in there. I think this is not going to go in. Okay, it does go in. But as you can see, like, just opening, like, or just doing, like, this video, like, I opened up, uh, I've made, what, like, two or three, like, team tokens? So you can see, like, as I buy the packs and I put them into, like, the, the sets, or into the, or, like, whatever, you know, I put the golds, like, into their sets and the silvers, like, into their sets, like, um, that's how I make my team tokens. I've probably got, like, 11, 12, now they're random, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that, like, uh, they're the teams I need. You know, but I can always make, you know, you can make flashback packs with them. You can, I can do all types of stuff, like with the, with the random team tokens. You can make, uh, uh alternate playbooks, def uh, offensive defense playbooks. So again, there's another one, Saints Gold token. So that's like a fourth one, third or fourth one. All right. And last pack of the night, we're going to do one feast. So we did a. Single get a player, the gold player pack, gold bundle, the harvest packs, and we're going to do one more, or the team of the week packs, and top it off, we did the single player, single gold, four pack gold, and last pack of the night, we're going to do one last harvest, do one more, we ran through one more round. That's crazy, that Zach Ertz. Man, that is just too nice. Too, too nice. And last pack, we get all gold, so. Speechless, though. <laughs> Zach Ertz, too. It wasn't even, like, the, like, I mean, because the Fletcher Cox is a lot cheaper. Because, like, the Keekly's not, like, near as in high demand as, uh, as, um, the Julio Jones. So. Man. <laughs> that's all those cards went into like into pack, into sets. So it's pretty nice. Well that's it. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't know if you can say like that's it, but let me just check. Actually let me go into we're just going to my binder anyway. Wow. <laughs> Broken. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. So just out of curiosity, so one, two, three. God, we opened up a lot of packs. That was the first card that we got was that Thomas Davis, so so we got three team tokens like out of it. Uh three gold team tokens. I think we made like we made a decent amount of silver tokens. Oh, we got some golds. So let's check out Joe. So he's 30k. Not bad. <laughs> Zach hurts. Uh, yeah. I think this is only like 4k, 5k. Okay. Well, it went up a little bit, surprisingly. Why is that so expensive, I wonder? Does he have a does he have a, a tear up set? Maybe I don't know. Uh, who else did we pull? We pulled another elite and put him straight into the into the set. I don't remember which one it was now. That's how much I care about low silver or low gold or low uh, elites. Uh, Malcolm Brown. Yeah, this is like three k. Maybe it's time to like start selling my. Low elites, because it looks like low elites are kind of making a... Oh, that's why. Duh. Although, like I said in the last video, the the elite tokens are going up. So, 
people are like getting more because ever so everybody's trying to make elite tokens now before they go up on Monday because it's going to cost more to make an elite token. Same elite token, but it's going to cost more to make one come Monday. So again, make your elite tokens now. So since everybody's making elite tokens now, all the little low elites are like going back up to like 5k. So maybe it's time to make some money. So we posted this one for what, 21? So maybe maybe it wasn't, maybe it was too high. Okay, it's like averagely high. So there's ours right there. Damn. Like 18 minutes ago. So that was a long, good, good while ago. <laughs> too long of a video. These 45 minute videos, I'm telling you what. So, but you can see 18.5. I mean, and we've got like a few of these, so... Oh, that's right. We're maybe going to make a team in a week. Do we have to now, though? I don't think we should have to. What are we thinking? I don't know. But there you go, like 18 for that one. Uh, This is the low. It, again, like 5K. Yeah. 5 to 7. For that elite. It's low. This is the one I was actually kind of curious. We got it. We could pull a couple of him too. Man, see, ten k. So yeah, you don't have to go down like too far to find ten k. So you put them up for, you know, while you sleep, ten k sold. And there's the other one that we put up. So between like, I don't, I don't know why I didn't mean to click on that. Um, so between, like, the two Robbie Andersons, the two Desmond Kings, which is right there, like, 20, 40, 50, or, like, yeah, 20, 40, 50, 60, there's 60K just in those four, like, cards, like, right there. Uh, the other one, okay, so once you get down there, so it's pretty ugly. Actually, that's not a bad bad buy though if you're gonna make those cards because i basically when i get them on on tuesdays i get them for 3k or less that's all i pay i don't pay more i'll wait put it together that's why i do the video like late at night i made that video like fairly earlier like in the day because like i actually got a lot of all my cards like i pulled like really early most of the time i do the video like later on on tuesday night because i'm spending most of the time like after work or like whatever putting together those sets because i refuse to pay like x amount so, I refuse to pay like over over three k. So, I forgot we got that Bruce Urban too. So I'm paying them. Those, those team of the weeks are pretty nice. Forty k. Okay. Well, yeah, those will go though, pretty quick. It's about forty k is like what you're looking at. Not bad, not bad. That's garbage. I'm not even gonna look at it. We got a couple of Joe Mixon. We can check them out. Ooh, we. I didn't think Joe Mixon was that high. So Joe Mixon can go for an easy 13. Okay, I see it. Man, these. Uh, uh. I don't even get it. I don't get it at all. But I'm gonna definitely sell them. Uh, Derek Barnett. Was that last week's or was or that was just weeks who knows but look how cheap it is look at that Ugh. 83 is that this week's last week's okay but 80 83 elite team of the week card that goes into the uh landing collins set but it's the the lowest one mind you but it's 4400 coin for not even an 8081 for an 8283 elite. That's crazy. This is a dude I sold for crazy good money. I checked him earlier and he's not near like where he was, but at that 34,000 uh, mark. But again, he's the third card in this tiered up set. And it's, you know, like I put it like overnight, 14, it'll sell. They're starting to drop. You can see they're starting to drop like already. So you want to get it, get it in now, like before, uh, Get the cards in now before you end up taking an L. There's another Joe Mixon. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. You just, uh-uh. 
That's, that's just like crazy good. Crazy, crazy good luck. The pack luck is just crazy unreal. But let's check him out really quick. So, yeah, like I said, between five and six. That's probably going to go fairly quick at 5, 5.05. We might make that Julio. I'm not going to lie to you. That Julio looks beast. And, like, he also, Julio has a tear-up set. So we know I like those teared-up, like, players. Right now we got Fitzgerald, Demarius Thomas, and Jarvis Landry in our teared-up. Landry is my man. I've teared him up twice now. Uh, so I'm probably not going to get rid of him. But Demarius Thomas, Fitzgerald, no no real good speed. Mm, I can see it. But, man. So that's a definite sell. I put him up 500 right now. <laughs> Gone. Beautiful. Unbelievable. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is my random pack opening. I still felt the pack luck and everything like that. Clearly. Oh, uh, where was that Harvest player? I wanted to check him, too. Don't want to leave y'all hanging and think, like, there they are. Back to back. Look at him. Almost back to back. Like, <laughs> Harvest. Harvest. Oh, wow. So, it, that's actually... No, I can't be 77. Wow, okay. That's a lot more than I thought it was. Those are He's still up there. So, okay, 75. That's another 150K right there. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. So, all in all, about a million made, I would say. Zach Ertz, five. Uh... Between, well, close to a million. So you say like five, I'm going to put Earth's 550, uh, 650, 675 with those 288s. Um, and then you add up those gold team of the weeks. So, yeah. And about like seven, 750, it's close to 800 all told. Like with the... The Bruce Irvin with the, you know, even the low colds, the Joe Mixons, all the, the team of the weeks, everything like that, you know, worth, definitely, definitely, definitely worth million, million coin, I would say, uh, 30k there, maybe not a million, okay, I'm over exaggerating, I'd say a solid 800, solid 800, either way, that's, it's a beautiful thing. Um, let's try it. You know, I just thought, I remembered, I said, like, I might, like, look. I, if I have to, no money, spend it, then I, I'll do a team of the week. I'll risk it for the biscuit. Look at that Julio, though. Oh, I forgot I got the Rivers, too. Oh, my God. Like, I'm only two cards away from the Julio. Oh, man. Because all the cards that I pulled and opening those packs, and then I already had him, and I forgot I pulled the, the I pulled two rivers. I sold one yesterday for one fifty, but I pulled two rivers yesterday, and I kept one and sold the other just in case. Like I happened to, and I was like, yeah, right. Like I'm gonna get a Ertz <laughs> in case I happen to pull an Ertz because I'm not gonna pay five hundred k for a card. Like a, you know, a team of the week card that's going to drop in price. But. <laughs> Julio, 93. So we can literally make uh, so much for that zero money spent, right? 19 for that one. I don't know why I'm even, like, bothering. I either do it or I don't. Wow. 19 and then 16. 30, I don't even can't do the math, 35, I don't know why that
it took so long. And these are probably like 5K a piece. So about 45K I could spend to get the Julio. But I could also sell Ertz for 550 him for another 150 that's 650 700 right there in them two cards mm -hmm. 700 is jones over a million let's check and see if jones like what jones is going for because i can sell those two cards for 700 i don't know i honestly don't want to make those other sets i'd rather sell those other cards instead of making that set Maybe we'll look at defense, because I really don't want to... I mean, what's the point? I'd rather put it into the set, like, right there. Let's, let's look at Julio. Man, it's getting late. Time for sleep. Okay, so Keekly's only 6.15. Man, that hurts. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, man. Mm -hmm. That hurts is almost what that um like look at the cards that you could get for that Ertz that 91 Ertz right so you could get two 92 Jared Goffs almost like even go up like you can get two Aaron Dun like that card is way too expensive <laughs> Where is the Julio at? So six, so you're looking at right around six hundred for the, for the Keekly. Man, you can almost get that Vic that was like unattainable throughout the entire year for that. Like, actually, you can get Vic for seven thirty. So seven thirty to seven fifty is what the buy it now is for. So let's look at we need to go to Atlanta. So you can get Michael Vick for six forty two. I can sell Ertz and get put in a hundred K and get actually I can sell Ertz and and old boy uh Rivers and get Michael Vick. <laughs> Stupid. So seven thirty is the lowest, those don't matter. So you can sell them about seven fifty. Woof. What's his stats look like? Oh, man. 92 speed. That's nice. I don't really have anybody great to compare him to, honestly. So, I mean, that's my best receiver. Oh, that's without his tiered up. So, it's it's always going to show you without tiered up. He's tiered up to 93. So, is Demarius Thomas and, and Fitzgerald. But I'm so weak. I mean, in my... Eyes, I'm weak at receiver. But that Landry does, like, he has nice catching, and and he's he's quick for me. I sold the Moss. I don't really care for Moss. So he's basically comparable to Randy Moss, basically, except for he's got better spec catch, better jumping. It's a nice card. Not going to lie, but I think I'm just going to sell the hurts to be honest with you i'll probably just sell the hurts and sell the rivers i might regret it i don't know we'll figure it out <laughs> i got some time to think about it i'll take a day figure it out i don't want to wait too long because the hurts is going to drop as soon as he drops i don't know i don't see him dropping like too fast because it's pretty high uh receiver so and I don't think they're gonna re release a receiver legend, and the and the Christmas is a little far out. So I think that's gonna be a, a top receiver. For for a little while, so I don't see it dropping like too too much, to be honest. Unless all cards just plummet, which I don't see. I don't see happening with the ninety threes. So beast, great, great, great stuff. <laughs> like the un unbelievable pull so I could literally 45k it would cost me 45k to make it I'd sell it for like 750 so uh, that's 700k profit then once I sell it I lose 70k that's 630 
is what I would get for selling the Jones for seven fifty, six hundred and thirty. Yeah, that's about what if I sold Rivers and Hertz. So literally I could just sell Rivers and Hertz and buy that. And then I could I would have all the other cards. Like the other hundred K worth of cards that are in there. So not gonna make them. God I want to, but I'm not going to. All right, guys, well, drop a like if you uh, enjoyed the video. I'm going to call it a night for now. Um, another just unreal video, though. No no lie about it. Like, pretty dope. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you're not a subscriber, drop a like. Uh, subscribe to your boy. Um, and for now, y'all have a great night, and we will see you soon.